up high and wide and caught by Japan. As we said, starting at hooker this week instead of open side flanker. Hannah Smith, she's got pace, hasn't she? Yeah, and she, Hannah's such a strong ball carrier that to get her on the ball early in those wider channels, um, she's got a, a huge bend, can really break, uh, break tackles in that area and open up a bit of space for the, the wingers in the 15 to play off her. And they're just inching their way forward. Scotland again themselves looking very dynamic and out to Megan Gaffney on the wing and she's over. I predicted that one, yeah. I clearly only moved the ball really nicely there, just put Megan right in at the corner. Yep. And Megan Gaffney has just come back from her travels all over the world back into that starting 15. Scotland need to keep securing those rucks and making sure their defence are really tight. Yeah, you can see the Japanese want to play quickly and that was their nine creating a little bit of a gap from a quick pick at that ra last rock. Just over the line there. I think Scotland should start to predict what's happening. They're doing a lot of pick and goes from the rucks here. She's got some real pace there. Yeah, right out to the wing, number 11, Kasai. Just down there by Rona Lloyd. And, and another try there for Japan. In, in games, we talk about this being the strike zone and making sure that we come away from this with points on the board. And again, with that rolling ball, it's worked very effectively for them before. We wanted to get points from it this time, though, and crashed over. It's a try for Scotland. Hard to tell who actually got that down. And that's Lisa it Coburn. Looks like Lisa Coburn coming up with the ball. Yeah, you can see the shape that Scotland were trying to play with as we move the ball across, using their forward pods off nine, setting that attacking platform, and then just working to, to try and release. So that's the forwards played off nine again there. Good speed speed of support, and then we're releasing ten, and that's a great line break there from Jade. So close to a try there on her 40th cap, just fumbled, but still in, and out onto the wing, and a try for Megan Gaffney. That's two for her today and sets them up by five points ahead of Japan. Japan working hard to cause a bit of a problem and stop them, but still got a good body position. The ball safely at the back there for the Scottish team. Just inching their way forward. And a try there that looks like Rachel Malcolm. She'll be pleased with that as the captain to get points for her team. This is as much now about concentration and application for Scotland than anything else. Um, them being under pressure in their own, on their own try line. This will be tiring stuff as well, but if they can stop them, get it over that like line. That's held up to me. There's a lot of bodies in there. Rachel Malcolm just watching to see it doesn't go over, but she's got the try on the post. Yeah, the base of the post is always in that area. As soon as you manage to get into the centre of the sticks, it's one of the typical areas that a team would target. I think Japan again moving that ball. Those substitutions for Japan have brought an extra energy. They've been still putting that width on the play, and it's really... That's unfortunate for Scotland, but an amazing try for Japan. You can see how happy they are with that. And with about one minute to go, that could be the decisive try in the game. I think they'll be wanting to secure ball for making sure and there it is good to doubt by Japan score Scotland 20, Japan 24 you can see how much it means to Japan to come all the way over here the first fixture between the two teams a historic game between the two teams and I think a really exciting game, the teams have definitely given the crowd something to talk about and something to enjoy